Although the Yankees need to win only one game for their first World Series championship in 15 years, owner, manager, and star slugger are still in conflict. The latest distractions come from an article in Time magazine. You see how low those clouds are? They'll burn off by midday. The Houston cells blow right through. I'm gonna learn a lot about rain as a ball player. So you want some breakfast? No. Uh -uh. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. You don't have to. No, I know I don't. You know, you could get someone in here to clean. Well, I, I have a, a lady who comes every now and then. Mm. Well, I just wish you took better care of yourself. Where do you put your shirts? Well, anyway? you could just uh, throw it over there. Quit fussing, okay? You sure you still want me here? You're my wife. I'm gonna make you some coffee. This is bad. Bad? It's a disaster. It's Time Magazine, game. I swear to God, attendance is down next year. This crap is action. I think we should focus on tomorrow first. Tomorrow? We got to craft a response now. I got Phil Pepe coming over. You Pepe's can local. It it's a national magazine. You know what we're going to do? Do the contract extension now. The guy just ripped you to shreds in the national press. You're going to reward him for Not it? Not reward. Motivate. After this, that's the wrong move, George. It'll make us look weak. You know what makes us look weak? Having the crap they write about us affect what we do. You watch. Announce it tomorrow before the game. Martin, have them playing like all-stars. Have you seen my keys? Did you check your pockets? What's that? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dumb as dirt. Sometimes. Does Billy Joe want to come down to the stadium with me? Billy Joe! No, wait, leave him be. He's watching cartoons. I thought he wanted to come. Well, if he does, I'll bring him down later. You got your tickets for the game? Yes, the club already sent them over. I gotta go. What are you grinning at? As long as I've known you, Billy Martin, you've always been in a hurry. Well, I've never been able to stay put. You know me. Got people to see, places to go. Yeah, I know. Mountains to climb. I know. I know. I know. Uh, right. You got that look on your face my mother had the first time she sent me to New York. You know that? Well, it's probably because we're thinking the same thing. Go. Time magazine quotes Reggie Jackson as saying he would not return to the Yankees next season if Billy Martin remained his manager. Reg, you read this? Is it still raining? Jackson cost us a lot of games this year. He's baseball dumb. Billy said that. This is the last thing we need, man. Didn't answer my question. Is it still raining? Yeah. The Dodgers canceled their workout. Torres is a hoss. He can't get us there, then it's Tidrow, win or lose. If it goes seven, everybody's available. Then we start Gidry. Yeah. Yeah. I really like that kid. He's got it. He's a gamer. If George had his way, he'd be long gone. <laughs> My man's a hell of a judge of talent. Yeah. Isn't he? Speaking of which, you heard anything about a contract? They're not direct, but something's shaking. What are you looking for? Two years with a raise. Guaranteed? Better be. Then what? Then what? What are you talking about? I don't know. Then what? You ever think about, uh, you know, hanging it up permanent? 
No. Do you? It would be the end of my life. It would be the end of mine. I mean, what else have I been? Don't be asking me them questions, yo. I'm a game away from winning the World Series. I don't gotta be thinking about that stuff. What are you, all of a sudden, Mr. Philosopher or something? Just wondering. Just wondering. Hell, I'm wondering whether them Charlie's Angels will drop their drawers for me if I ask them nice enough, but I don't say so out loud. Get your head in the game and crack the damn window while you're at it. What did you eat for lunch, huh? We are pleased to announce that Billy Martin will continue as Yankee manager and will be substantially rewarded in recognition of the fine job that he's done. We hope this puts to rest all the unfounded rumors that a change was to be made. Billy's contract goes through 1979. Gabe, where's George? Mr. Steinbrenner regrets he couldn't make it. So Gabe, is this the response to the Time article? The Yankees don't make personnel decisions based on magazine stories. Was this your call, Gabe? It was a front office decision. And no front office decision is made without the approval of the owner. Uh, but how about some pictures? You talk to Torres? Yeah, I talk to Torres. He's looking good. I think we'll do a big game. Relax. Relax, ready to go. Hey, Joe. Reggie. Hey, Mr. DiMaggio. How you doing? Great. We're a long way from Oakland. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Just want to tell you how proud I am of you. I remember the first time I saw you with the A's in Arizona. I mean, we all knew all the coaches that you could hit with power from the left side, but it was more than that. It's a quality. I had it. Gary had it. Williams had it. Heart. You got it in spades, kid. And no matter what they say about you, nobody can take it away from you. Incredible. Gone yard with every pitch. I don't know. Good dress rehearsal, bad opening night. Emotionally and physically drained, the Yankees desperately want to avoid a sudden death seventh game by winning the series tonight. I'm tired. We're all tired, and I'm worn down by going through all this, answering all these questions, and being in the middle of all this controversy. The things the players talk about now, it's not winning or losing, it's just how many days we have left. Do you even know anything about baseball? Kind of. A little. Here you go, ladies, and the gentleman over there. back as Yankee manager next year. In view of all previous developments and earlier utterances, why? Well, I think Billy's done a good job this year. He's done a particularly good job in the playoffs in the series. And I think Gabe Paul felt he deserved to be manager again next year. We gave him a nice, healthy bonus this year. According to Time Magazine's current issue, Reggie Jackson told them that he would not play for the Yankees next year if Martin were the manager. You know, Howard, why do you ask all these tough questions like this? Because I want to say something. You're really a cream puff. People don't know that out there. 
But I know of all the little things you do and the big things you do for less fortunate people, the charitable causes you champion all the time. And you come on here and you ask these difficult questions to me all the time. People should really know what you're really like, and I really mean that. Now, I'm going to answer your question, but I just wanted to say that. Reggie Jackson will be back next year. There's no doubt in my mind he'll be here. He's gotten to like New York. New York likes him. And as far as I'm concerned, Reggie's part of the team. He's got a contract. He'll be here. What about Munson, who was asked to be traded to an Ohio team? Well, let me say this, Howard. Munson wants to be at home, and he can't blame a ball player for that. But Cleveland, I'm sure, will not give us enough to make a trade justified as far as the Indians at getting Munson are concerned. So I predict that Munson will be here also. Thank you very much. Thank you for the kind word. I meant what I said, Howard. A lot of us feel that way. And so it looks like New York fans in baseball will once again have Billy Martin and Reggie Jackson right here in New York City. And we'll be back with the ball game right after this. ABC Sports presents... The 1977 World Series. From Yankee Stadium in New York City, the sixth game between the Los Angeles Dodgers and the New York Yankees. On Sunday, the Dodgers played long ball with Yankee pitching, featuring Steve Yeager's three-run home run deep into the left field seat. David Oakes had a triple. Steve Garvey had a double. Reggie Smith, his second home run of the series. Don Sutton's winning performance, easy, 10-4. If the Yankees can win the championship tonight, they lead three games to two going into game number six. Well, there it is, all blue and white with a patch of green in the heart of it. Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, New York City, the site for game number six of the 1977 World Series. Conceivably, the final game of the 1977 World Series. We shall see about that, because it is worth remembering, I think, some of the notes from history. And as the roar goes up here in Yankee Stadium tonight, I think you can tell that being home might well be an asset for the New York Yankees, just as being home was surely an asset for the Los Angeles Dodgers. There have been 10 six games played in the World Series over the last decade, and the trailing team has won every time. Now, whether or not history is going to tell us anything, we'll know just about three hours from now. The attitude of the two teams, anticipation perhaps for the Yankees, a little grim, set jaw by the Dodgers, either put it up or forget it until next year. To pursue the points about tonight's ball game, let's turn now to Howard Cosell. Hello again, everyone, and hello again, Keith Jackson. Happy birthday to you. It's nice to be 36, just young enough, just old enough, and Keith wishes he were exactly that. A quick journalistic note to add some attention of the occasion for the Dodgers. Steve Garvey and Davey Lopes have received death threats via the telephone. It's presumed they're the usual prank calls. Adequate security precautions hopefully have been taken. In the meantime, getting back to what Keith said, the Yankees well know that they can end it all tonight, but they're not without their own attention. They're familiar with the adverse history that Keith and Russ Porter have already expressed. And they're familiar, too, with the fact that they faced this kind of situation against the Dodgers back in 1953 when a spunky little second baseman named Billy Martin set a record for a six-game World Series with 12 hits, and the Yankees won it in that sixth game in the bottom of the ninth. So that's the way it is tonight. The Yankees eager to close it out. The manager is short of staying next year. Apparent harmony, and yet the ruffled feelings not unconcealed because of the Figueroa situation. And on the mound, the big right-hander, Mike Torres. He won the ball game, game three, by a score of 5-3. He allowed uh, only seven hits. He struck out a season high of nine. And Billy Martin there is confident he's the man to have on the mound tonight. Tommy Lasorda, pensive, but in his own way confident. Saw his team win when it had to on Sunday. He's confident. Home run can... in game number five for Reggie Smith. He has a total of four runs batted in, five for 18. Hits it toward the left side. Big down, Smith knocks it down. He'll have no play. Low ball four. Two Dodgers aboard. Ball is hit down the right field line. It'll go to the corner. Field score. Ron Say is turning third. He's coming to the plate. Here's the Vino relay as Steve Garvey goes all the way to third base, and the Dodgers lead two to nothing. Come on, come on, come on. 
and index to the consistency of Thurman Munson. Shot to left. The base hit. Baker cuts it off. And hurries it back in to hold Thurman Munson at first base. Now backing to the entry. Number 44. Second pitch. Munson first base. Second pitch. 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 Watch. Okay. I think this guy can hit in the clutch. Reggie Jackson. That's what he's going to do. Run us right off. Shouldn't number 30, you know, what's it called? Steel? Yeah, steel. Is Reggie coming up? Like he's going to hit, too. It's possible. Reggie Jackson has walked and homered. Scored twice, knocked in two. Three home runs in the series so far. He's locked in. I live for that look. Thank you. 
Series MVP, no question. Oh, God. What? Three million dollars worth every penny. Right, Gabe? You said it, George. You're gonna win it all, Dago. They bury me some of the bitches. Come on! Come on! Let's bury these sons of bitches! He had to eat crow, he knew it. He didn't want it to. But he did it. And he'll be back next year to join Steinbrenner. And Mark is already assured of being back next year. Victory can bring home. They won't give him anything to hit. They're walking. They got to walk. Congratulations, boss. Hell of a night. What are they all thinking now? After all the bureau, after all the hassling, it came down to this. A whole long season. Out comes Reggie. The only other man that's done that in the World Series, he did it twice, Babe Ruth. It's pretty splendid company to be in. But Reggie, the candy bar was not named after the day. Look at Reggie Jackson, the whole long season. An air altercation in the dugout for this manager, Billy Martin, when Martin precipitously removed him from the game. Later substitution, though. And then swinging those mock swings and saying, I can only answer one way. That's just my back. And he has done just that. Nick Davalio at first base. One out is all they need. They fly ball, anything. That's all they need. That's do it. That's going to do it. keeping this ball club together, culminated right here by the 1977 championship. Somebody said you ought to be given the Nobel Peace Prize. Well, I, well, I don't care about that. I'm just so, just so happy for these guys. They're battlers. They beat two great clubs in Kansas City and the Dodgers. Just really great. Now, will there be any changes that Billy Martin might want to make next year on this present Yankee championship ball club? Well, I'm not in a position to make changes. I'll make suggestions, but Gabe and Mrs. Steinbrenner will make the changes. But I... I think we're going to be awful tough. Well, Billy, look, we know and hope you'll be back next year. Thank you, Bill. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, Billy Martin. Thank Billy you very Martin. Much. Billy, I've been waiting to do this. <laughs> Ohio. You play 
planning on playing with Cleveland uh -oh. next year? Uh, come on, why'd you have to ask me that? I'm trying to be happy. Oh, come on, <laughs> come on. Where, where do you want to play next Here's year? Here's where I'm playing next year. <laughs> uh, you know what? I like playing baseball. I'm going to be playing baseball somewhere. How's that for you? Okay, all, all right, right, good. As long as it's with New York. Okay. All right, all right. All right. All right. Let's get Reggie over here. Reggie, 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 a heck of a game. Five home runs in a six-game series, a new record. Three home runs in one ball game, which sort of ties a guy to Babe Ruth, who did it twice. Uh, well, Bill, you know, it's, uh, it's a great feeling. You know? A lot of people talk about the great players, and, uh, you know, I think the, the word superstar is overused a lot, you know? Uh, uh, you, of course, played in the era where that word was really originated. Guys like DiMaggio and Mays and Aaron and Clemente and... I can now say that I had one day. Uh, it was like those guys. Well, you saved the best for last, which is a test of a true star. Oh, uh, well, well, thanks a lot, Bill. I really appreciate it. It wasn't easy, you know. Uh, I definitely know that there's a God in heaven for sure. Uh, I'm very, very happy for myself, but uh, I'm really not important. You know, it's just uh, the people that stuck by me, people like Fran Healy and, uh, uh, of course, my mother and father and uh, people at Standard Brands and then Puma. And there's all just right, uh, right. a lot of people. All right, right. Let, let's forget about the commercials. Let me ask you this. So much has been said. Can you tell us what Reggie Jackson wants to do next year? I'd like to win another World Series. For who? The Yankees. <laughs> all right, good, good. Nice talking to you, Reggie. All right. Nice talking That's to good. you. Let's get George Steinbrenner in there. George, George. George Steinbrenner, owner of the New York Yankees. First of all, congratulations, George Steinbrenner. Proud for baseball, proud for the Yankees, proud for New York. Great day for New York. It's been a tough year. That has been, yeah. <laughs> as long as it's culminated in this, I'm sure you'll... It's been worth it. It's been worth it. Great day for New York. Uh, Commissioner, uh, you, how about giving this great trophy away? Where's Billy Martin? Billy. Let's get let's get Martin in here. Oh, Where's Billy? Billy? Billy, Billy Martin. Billy's not here. The gentleman that he is, he went over to the other guy's locker room to congratulate Tom Lasorda and the Los Angeles Dodgers. And he is a gentleman. Uh, George, uh, you and uh, Billy and Gabe and uh, all the uh, members of this great uh, Yankees team uh, that uh, that won this championship this year. I just wanted to say uh, how proud I am of of everything that you've accomplished. Um, and uh, I'd like to present you with this trophy, uh, but it's uh, too heavy. It's too heavy. <laughs> uh, congratulations, and uh, you are a real champion. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, it's just great to have it back where it belongs, New York. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, George, George, let's talk about Let's talk a little bit about what you intend to do with this club next year. Oh, I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> How can you touch a ball club like this? Uh, we're going to get everybody back together, hopefully, and we'll all uh, be back here next year. Good, good. Congratulations. Now, let's go back to Keith Jackson. All right, Bill White, thank you very much. And so the World Championship Trophy is back in Yankee Stadium for a 21st time. And so it's a night of celebration in the Big Apple. Hey, 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 We did it, Gretchen. We did it. Yeah, I know you did. You can't touch me now. You can't hurt me anymore. Oh, you're holding me a little tight, Greg. I want us three to be together. Find some place. A nice house. It'll be different this time. Billy, don't. What's the matter? I said don't. What's the matter? What did I do? I don't want to 
be a moon creature. Sorry. Don't believe me. We left more than time ago. Anything, champ? No. No, man, I got everything I want. First of all, George, congratulations. Proud of baseball? Uh, proud for New York? Proud for the Yankees? It was a great day for New York. It was a tough year. Dad, it's me. Yeah. But as long as it's culminated by this, I'm sure you'll take it. It's all been worth it. You Billy Martin?